What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. You know, I can't wait. Right now, we are sitting here on the 12th of July. And the Dallas Cowboys will be leaving for Oxnard on the 23rd. 11 days, people. 11 days with the first practice scheduled for the 25th. If you aren't excited right now, I don't know how to help you. But we're still dealing with the silly season right now. And I was coming on the Twitter. I'm sorry. Uh, Elon Musk on X. And I came across... James Nigel, who is, um, I guess, an NFL guy, all things NFL. And actually, when I think, oh, my God, this is crazy to me. I found out something that just blew my mind. Okay, just blew my mind. Um, I know all of you have seen the movie The Replacements, right? The Replacements, Okay. The guy who's the kicker. This blew me away. The guy who's the kicker. You know, ole, 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 ole. Yeah, he's wider. That guy. Do you know what he plays in now? Do you? I can't remember his name, but he is the hand, hand of the king. The hand of the king. With the real deep voice and stuff. That Shakespearean accent and all. You know, the Red Queen's, the red-headed Queen's father. That's the guy who played uh, Nigel in The Replacements. So when I think of this guy, James Nigel, it reminds me of that. So the discussion has been, since Cam Newton brought it up, that Dak Prescott is better than a lot of guys top five quarterback um we've had discussions with um my man dan salio um about dak prescott versus uh jalen hurts and i tell you that you can manipulate numbers with statistics between mean median mode and modulation if you take stats in college you'll find out that you can use the same data and get different results by the way you use the data then there is Pure just deception, okay? And as uh, Dan Orlowski once pointed out, that we can often take numbers and point out and prove anything that we want and that they often manipulate the numbers. So let's take a look at this. This is Nigel, James Nigel, and his whole argument is Jalen Hurts versus Dak Prescott since Jalen Hurts first start. Jalen Hurts, you look at this and say, wow, Jalen Hurts, he's got 36 TDs total. Now, this is passing and running, even though some of those are just like tush-push, one-yard rushes. But still, touchdown is a touchdown. You look at this and say, damn, Jalen Hurts got 36. Dak only got 32. Okay, okay. Yardage. You look at that, Jalen Hurts got 15,000. 15,317. Dak's only got 13,681. Wait a minute. Boy, Jalen Hurts is doing it up. TDs. Jalen Hurts, he's got 117. To Dak Prescott's 111. Turnovers. Jalen Hurts has less turnovers than Dak Prescott. What the hell's going on around here? 47 to 48. And I was sitting here looking at this. I was like, wait a minute. Are these numbers correct? Now, what's funny is, is when we go down through here and, and figure this out. Well, let's go figure this out. Because I'm, I'm like, I know Jalen Hurts gets a lot more yards. I mean, gets, you know, running the football than Dak Prescott. And, and that, you know, that's added to the number. If you add that to the number. But it's funny because it used to be when we would compare Dak Prescott to Carson Wentz and point out the rushing TDs that Dak Prescott had, they were like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, that, that, that's a running back stat. That's not a quarterback stat. But that's okay 
That's okay, Eagle fans. You, you, you do you. And so going through, people started questioning it. And he's saying, including playoffs. Okay. All right. So Jalen Hurts has been in um, five playoff games. He's two and three. Dak's been actually in a few more, but Dak's been in longer. So he said, just realize it's a crazy coincidence. Prescott has 13,681 regular season passing yards since Hertz was drafted, right? These numbers are total, including playoffs since Hertz's first NFL start. 12,900. You start to say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have, have we been deceived? Okay. So Outlaw Cowboys said wins for Hurts mean you're including playoffs, which also means it's over Jalen's last 56 starts. You're including Hurts rushing stats in your totals, but left out Dax. So that's where he said, no, I got Dax in there too. Over Dak's last 56 starts, because here's what he didn't include. Y'all remember Dak Prescott got injured, right? Y'all, y'all remember that, right? Over Dak's last 56 starts, okay, 56, because if you're counting apples to apples, we had all the games that Dak Prescott missed with the broken ankle and the broken thumb. Oh, wait a minute. So over Dak's last 56 starts, if we're going to compare apples to apples, is 15,000. 875 total yards and 127 total TDs. Okay. And as Outlaw put it, you thought you were slick, didn't you? You thought you were, yeah, you did, buddy. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Let me put a heart on there and let me retweet that. Okay. Um, so, yes, 127 TDs versus 117. So, even though we're counting all of the rushing TDs and all the rushing yards and everything else, Dak still has more. But wait, this is where it gets to be even funnier because my main man, Law Nation, okay? Let me see if I have it. Hold up, hold up. Law, shout out to Law, nothing but the best. Point it out because you might remember, you know, um, Jalen Hurts, they got extra time in because like they had to go to overtime against the Washington Commanders oh you remember that right against the Washington Commanders and they of course they also beat him in the last seconds uh, in the fourth quarter right unlike the Cowboys that actually blew some teams out so as law put it Dak threw his final pass in each game week one 1142 left in the game Week two, nine eighteen into the uh, left in the game. Week four, eight forty two. Week five, twelve fifty eight. Week eight, twelve nineteen. Week ten, one twenty nine left in the third. Week eleven, eight thirty left in the fourth. Week twelve, five fifty nine, and week eighteen, nine minutes to go. So you could have actually had Dak Prescott, you know, that's like two more games worth of time left right there that he could have been padding stats, but they were blowing people out. So James Nigel, James Nigel, let me, how many followers you got, James? Oh, okay. You got 3,905. That's good. That's good. James, you're wrong, James. Yeah. Yeah. We need the 23rd to hurry up and get here. That's all I can say, that we are literally going through and analyzing what a Eagles um, fan side journalist is trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Hope you all are having a great day, and I will see you all soon. Peace out.